Okay, now we see uh, right here in the back. Uh, it's uh, all, I mean, it's all the way metal to metal, the pads with the rotor. So we want to change the rotor, brake rotor in the back, new, new brake pads, a new brake rotor. T40s, Torx. You can see the pads right here. T45, and we want to take it out of the brake rotor. And this is the last one. So after we take it out the, the bolts from that side, we can slide uh, or turn the, the rotor and then get it out. And remember the position of the rotor is in this position. You can see the difference in between right here the holes. It's got a space to the head of the bolts. So it's gonna be in this position. As you can see the, uh, the, the damage right here in the rotor, it was running metal to metal no brake pads at all. So that's why we're changing the brake rotor in the back in this uh, GSA Adventure. This is the new rotor. From both sides. Like I said, remember this uh, little flange for the uh, the bolts is gonna be the other side, like this. Of course, we're gonna use flat tight. So I'm, I put a little bit in the, each bolt of the rotor. We try to find this this space. So that way we can put the, the bolts. So from right here, we can hold it. Start turning it, it's bolts. Turn it all the way right here so that way we have space right here, this position. The last bolt. I'm gonna put the specs in the description below, but they say it, it's 40. So now we can type all ones. Of course, we wanna torque them. Okay, so now we want to tie them the first torque 12 new millimeters. Ok, 
Okay, and the second one, we want to go ahead and 30 new millimeters. Diagonal to Now we want to change the uh, the brake pads in the back. This is the part number. Okay, we want to take it out the pins first. And then we want to push the pin. So the pads came out. So as you can see these pads are toast very damaged. This is the new ones. We want to take it out the bracket so that way we can loop the pins inside these two pins, this one right here and this one right here. To retract the uh, the pistons, you can use a regular pliers like this. Okay, where is the pistons? And the pins want to lubricate again. position okay the inside had like that and then the outside pad remember the two holes for the pins okay we want to open the brake pads like that over it. Pin right here. And then we're gonna put the two retention pins. One is right here. Okay, now we're going to put the, the brake caliper back. 